Oh, shit! Forgot about that. Ha ha. Up my repair just so. Oh, not this way. I wonder if they're still going to fire on me when I come near. It's something I never really thought about. I'm coming for you, man. What's having a seizure? It's like the dinner bell. Oh god, that's not good. I get it. You're running into a cannibal's crib. And it's the dinner bell's ringing. That means your dinner. So... Watch, you'll be like, okay, good. <laughs> it says I completed the quest, but it still wants me to go back and tell him. So I'm just doing it just in case. Is Van still overlooking? Yeah, he doesn't do anything else. He just stands up there and smokes. Always a pleasure to receive you in Maresti. What? Arafu, Arafu has accepted your proposal, Vance. Excellent. I knew you would serve as an ambassador for us in good faith. I will dispatch Alan to Arafu immediately to help serve as their guardian and honor my end of the agreement. Your efforts surpass those of the average human. In fact, I feel almost like you are a member of our flock. If you ever wish to learn our ways, you have but to ask. Teach me the ways of the vampire. To be a vampire is a life commitment. It is not achieved by my words. It is something you earn by your own will and sincere meditation. Sadly, I cannot fully make you one of us, but I can teach you how the lifeblood of others brings us regenerative powers. Since your body lacks the way to extract blood as we do, you must find alternative sources for your nourishment. Drink deep of the blood. Allow not a drop to spill. Feel the warmth as it spreads inside you. You are becoming one with the life force of another. They lend a part of themselves to you. For a brief moment, you are two entities becoming one. Allow the feelings to course through your body as you partake of the blood. Feel it empower you and make you stronger. Once you have done this deed, only then will you know what it is like to be a vampire. <laughs> Vance's teachings have granted you the ability to regain 20 health points from a consumption of blood packs. Nice. Use what little I have... Thank you. So yeah, I'm s extra perks. Always good. I'm not a full vampire. I will never be a vampire. Hell, I did that in Elder Scrolls Oblivion. Oh my god, it was such a pain in the ass. I'm pretty sure you could have done it in uh, uh, Skyrim as well. But that shit was just annoying. Like, maintaining... If you didn't feed on anybody, you'd look so frail and old. But at the same time, vampirism had its perks. I mean, you could run around and a lot faster. Uh... If you fed, if you fed, you could walk around during the day, but you'd have to feed, or else the sunlight did eventually hurt you. <whistles> this thing is still going crazy after I hit the damn thing. Kobe! Alright, let me, let me set a, a new waypoint. How about that? I could go to the Super Duper Mart. I think my explosive skill is still too low. But these are the only quests I have. I only have three. I mean, those other ones are DLCs, which I mentioned I'm saving till later. Till we get to the end of the game. Near the end of the game. Hell, I mean, 
the first, like I said, the first two DLCs are going to be done at, um, just prior, okay? Just prior. Sometime. It really doesn't matter. I can go there now, but I feel like I want to get better stuff. So I feel like I want to wait until I get better weapons and whatnot before I actually do those DLCs. The first two, anyway. Maybe at, like, level 15 or something like that. Okay, before they see me, let's let's travel to the, the Super Duper Mart. Which, unfortunately, is only nearby Megaton. I don't want to travel into Megaton. I want to travel out and around it. So I could also find some sugar bombs to bring to Buddy. Yeah, see, it puts me inside it. Probably for the best, though. And the loading screen shouldn't be that long. Okay, we're making the trip. Thirsty, partner. Moriarty. Nikki, who are you? Oh, thank God. Someone new. I need water, please. Water. Will any water do? I've been drinking this irradiated shit, and I, I can't do it. I just throw it up now. I need purified water, please. It's Megaton. Have you been living in a hole or something? Actually. Everyone's heard of Megaton. They have plenty of water in there, but they only give it to residents or people who can pay for it. So I don't have any water. I have to go. Please, help me. You just get some bonuses. And let's be honest. If I said, if I'm going by what I really said, and I said that I'm doing my honest choices, I don't give poor people any, I mean, okay, I don't, that sounds pretty bad. I just don't give, um, I don't give, uh, hobos or beggars anything. Because the city I live in, you can get a job. It's so easy. Hell, I got a little story. Oh, I see. Blowfly, right? Yeah. I got one hit. The real blowfly is actually quite serious. It's called a blot fly, actually. It's quite scary how it works, but if you want to know any more about it, what the, like how it like feeds and you know just keep shit up, just trust me. Go go look, look it up. It's not a very pleasant thing. The blot fly. Anyway, as I was saying about the hobos, um, little story, uh, I used to work with a guy who had a boss, and his boss was in construction or something like that, um, it, was an, it was an old job that he was at, right, and in this construction, he, uh, he, he needed guys, it's kind of like what they do when they go to the border, I need like five guys, you know what I mean, that kind of thing, I'm not being racist, that really happens. I mean, he did that kind of thing to the hobos. He's like, I got work for you guys. If you want to come by, here's the address, and we'll put you to work. Not a single person showed up. They'd rather beg and make easy money. It's easy money to beg. Seriously. Who the hell are you? Back off. Whoa. Find your own robot to salvage. Don't even think about it. That Enclave tech is mine, fair and square. You have anything for sale? A few odds and ends. I'm gonna sell some stuff to him. He's got 163. Let's see what I can sell him. Weapons. I forgot I had some of these. I should probably fix my current one to get more damage out of it. Got a Chinese pistol. It doesn't do that well. I got a flamer. Should I sell him the flamer? No, maybe I'll hold on to that. I'll sell him these. Let's 
Give him some of that. Let's go with that. He's got some cherry bombs. Look at that. Cherry bomb. No, a cherry bomb. No, he needs sugar bombs. I almost bought a cherry bomb by accident. He's got a laser pistol. But no ammo for it. Unfortunately. A play later. Just pulls a gun on me. Nuka Cola's good. And if it's one thing that I've found, dude, look where you're going. I'm not even near you. Get away from that. Finders keepers. I'm warning you. We'll leave him to it. He can have it. There'll be plenty more. Um, what was I saying? I don't remember. The good thing about Fallout is there's a lot of time where you're just walking, right? And it'll give me... Oh, shit. It will give me... The ability to talk to you guys about a... Shit. Talk to you guys about a topic that I have interest in or something. And I can go on a story rant. Nice. Got a laser pistol, ladies and gentlemen. I'm actually quite surprised. I think I might get more damage, though. I want to find meds. I know where they are. They're on the other side, but hold on. Weapons. Let's, let's, can I upgrade this? Not yet. I could fix this with the other one. Still not as good. Can't do any of that yet. There we go. It lightens the load. Oh god, this totally needs it. It only does 5 damage right now, and considering my energy weapons aren't that good yet. Let's see, 5 damage. Let's see what mine's doing. Mine's at 6, so it's better, and it's in better shape. But once I get to repairing it, and I upgrade my energy... Oh, okay, next I'll add some skill to energy weapons, because I will end up being... I'll, I'll end up using energy weapons a lot. I'm going to hit save on this, though, just in case. God, I'm really liking this. I'm, like, super excited. Playing this game again, using different tactics. See if we can do it without them seeing me. Come on, boys. Fuck, Press that didn't work. What's up? Oh, that probably hurt. Really? Granada. Let's see what he's got. He's got another pistol around Nuka Cola. I don't need that. Shit. Look at this stupid honeybee. All right, lady killer. There you go, lady killer, baby. <laughs> Did you hear her shouting? That was hilarious. Oh, you're done, girl. Oh, I'm done. Nice. Yeah, I'm fine killing them. Psycho tick, like what a stupid oh, this thing. Is gonna be fun. So, oh shit, he's got shoddy. This is bad, yo. Oh my god, run! I gotta keep my distance from these clowns. Just a minute, let me heal up. Small amount of health from that. There we go. That's 
not a good shot. He's got a shotgun though. I might switch that up and give that a whirl. Still no dice? I need better repair. I'll get him. Use the cover, baby. Use the cover, use the cover. Bats it up! Oh my god. Well, that done diddly doo dah worked. Ah, the hunting rifle. That's a good weapon. Some terminals are protected and can't be accessed without a password. If your science skill is high enough, you can attempt to hack the terminal. Selecting the correct password will grant you access. If your guess is incorrect, you will show how many letters match the correct password in the correct location. You have four tries, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Sending. Barons. Sterile. Meeting. Okay, we'll back out. This is how you get it unlimited amounts. Ha ha, awesome. First try. This is where all the meds are, I think. What the hell is this? There's a protect protectron in here. Mini nuke. Nice. It'll all be over soon. Fucking hide from me. This bitch is so dead. Look at this. Boom! Oh yes! You don't need later killer to know that fucked her up. Oh my goodness. Lady, what were you thinking? I have a shotgun in your face. What a dumb fuck. There's a quest. I made the mistake of drinking Nuka Cola Quantum. Don't. You need a certain amount for a certain quest. I remember I was grinding so hard. Trying to find every Nuka Cola Quantum bottle. Dory, I'll drop some stuff. Beer I don't need. Jet. This stuff barely weighs anything, so. And you can't fast travel with it either, so. It's all good, though. Okay, hold on a minute. Let's, uh, what am I over encumbered by? Uh, only by five pounds. So, if I can fix something, that ought to do the trick. Almost. I could fix this. There we go. Perfect. That should do perfectly. I just can't pick up anything else. This stuff doesn't weigh anything, so... Ammo, I can take as much as I want. I'm gonna save here. On this one, just because I just... You know, it's too close, so... No, no. Automated maintenance. We're gonna send him out to kill those raiders, man. It's gonna be fantastic. Shape, so let's try flame. No, let's try glow. Glove. No. Slits? No. Okay. I have to send this douche out. Like, it's going to be great. 
Oh, wait, there was a way to get rid of the bad ones. You gotta look for open and close brackets, and if you find that, you enter it. I don't think there's gonna be any here, but you look for an open and close bracket, and you select it. And it'll, del it'll delete the, an incorrect password. Son of a bitch. We'll get it. It's supposed to be a very easy one. So wait, what is it? These, so... Maybe dress? No. Close? Nice! Am I at level 4? Is it enough? Oh, one more thing to do. What the hell? Oh. Here we go, baby! Do some maintenance! <laughs> personality. Rob Golf. R04 V9. Office helper. Run Go. default office protocol. Error. Loading daily agenda. Error. Let me get that door for you. Security breach detected. Please stand back. Go ahead, Protectron. Hello, office employee. Please present your valid ID. Warning. Scan failure. Shit. I can get my projector on to help out. I'm almost out of ammo for this thing. Oh, they just threw a grenade. Okay, hold on. Shit. I don't need two bats. I'm hauling ass out the front door. <laughs> we'll let the Protectron deal with those guys. I remember last time I went to the Super Duper Mart, things just didn't go as nicely. Alright. Energy weapons, I'm going to up by about five. Maybe my explosives by two, round that off. And let's bring it up to 25. The only reason I'm doing that is because I want to disable the bomb. So, four skill points to up. I'm just wondering what I should do. Maybe more small guns? Or science, maybe? I haven't done a lock pick yet. Um, medicine, maybe. Up the repair a little bit more. I think I'm going to do that. There we go. That's that's what I'm picking. And we get another one. I can do another Swift Learner. These are all old. Child at heart. Greatly improves your interactions with children, usually in the form of unique dialogue choices. That'd be cool. Comprehension. You gain one additional skill point whenever a skill book is read. That's good. With the educated perk, you gain three more skill points every time you advance in level. Ooh, I'm going to definitely take that, but I'm just going to look at the others. The Iron Fist perk, you do an additional five points of unarmed damage per rank. Scoundrel, you can use your willy charms to influence people. Each rank raises your speech and barter skills by five. Definitely. Perfect. All right, let's head on back to Megaton. And we'll go talk to Moira Brown, and we'll be like, bitch, you owe us some serious cash. But that's only one of three. Like, you have to complete chapters, you guys. And that's not even a ch I don't even think that's a chapter. It could be. I can't remember how she does it. You know what? That very well could be a chapter. I just remember her having, like, a 16 chapters. Well, hold on. Before we go seek her out, I'm going to see if I can disarm this bomb. With the clouds and there you go. Further examination reveals it's still operational and still quite dangerous. With the right gear, it would be tra it would be trivial to rig it to explode. To disarm the bomb, however, would take a highly okay attempt to disarm. There you go. 
And honestly, I wouldn't kill people like that unless they deserve it. It's based on what I would do, okay? I'll be damned. You did it, didn't you? You disarmed that thing. Here's your reward. Hell, why don't you move in? Could use someone like you. Got an empty place here you can use. Here's the key indeed. It ain't much to look at, but talk with Moira. She's got random odds and ends you might be able to spruce the place up with. Thank you. So that's how you get your crib. Oh, look at that. Okay, Halfway through safe. level four. Just for doing that. If I had more swift learner, I'd be it'd be a much higher rank too, so. Gotta remember that as well. But Moira, like, I mean. The thing that's so annoying about Moira is that she just doesn't get how unsafe. Like, she's like, oh, yes, it's dangerous, dearie. Oh, my God. Better than that bitch that wrote us a goddamn poem.